going to take the black and white filter off for a minute, and we're going to talk about uncomfortable positions. Don't mind my cup. So when you start walking with Christ, he's going to put you in uncomfortable situations. You're going to find yourself in positions where you're like, I can't do that. And you'll tell him, you know, God, I can't do that. I can't change my life to the way that you want me to walk. It's going to be hard, but he's going to keep pushing you. I found myself over this last year of walking with him, handing out Bibles to people, talking to people about Christ, talking about the gospel, putting Bibles in free library boxes, doing things that I never thought I would do in the 41 years prior. And it was, it was uncomfortable. I have a lot of social anxiety just due to things in my past, my time in the military. And it's hard for me sometimes to, to interact with people. Even going to the church on Sundays, I'm initially anxious when I get there. And I, I know a couple of people. I've been there almost a year. And I know a couple of people, so if I see them, I kind of gravitate to them, shake their hands, you know, give my kind of hellos, and then I go sit down in the same seat that I sit in every Sunday. And, and that's it. And when it's over, I get up and I leave. But over the past couple of months, God has been pushing me to do something more. And I know, I know what he's been pushing me to do. But my anxiety has been gripping me a little bit and I haven't wanted to commit to it. And I've wrestled with God about it and, well, he always wins. So one of them was, there was a, a thing called Hope for Christmas that we were doing. 2,000 kids were going to come between two churches. They were going to get presents, uh, get presents for their families, just have fun. And I've been wanting to do it, but my anxiety. So at the last minute, God pushed me and I finally signed up. And I signed up for the security team thinking that, you know, security's kind of in the background. I won't really have to interact that much. I can just kind of float around and nobody will, nobody will really see me. That was the anxiety kicking in. But I did it. And you know what? I didn't just get to hang around. I got to interact with so many people. I got to see so many families and children that were happy. And I just watched the love of God spread throughout this place. Nobody was having a bad day there. Nobody, including myself. I was having the best time possible. And while I was there, I also talked to people that served with the church. And interestingly enough, somebody offered me a position in the church. Volunteer position, but a position nonetheless. And you know, I had to sit there for a minute and think, God, God always knows what he's doing. He knew he pushed me into this. He pushed me to be there that day. And he pushed me to, to make this choice, whether or not I was going to serve the church, which was something that me and him had been wrestling about also. And when they offered me the position on the security team at the church, uh, it just came out of nowhere. The lady came up and said, hey, you know, I'll give you this position. I was like, what? I took it because I knew that that was what God wanted me to do, even though it was uncomfortable for me. Well, a little bit later, a gentleman came up and he talked to me about small groups. If you don't know what a small group is, where people will get out into the community, they get together, coffee shop or somebody's house, they dig into the Bible, whatever message you know, is going on at that time and talk about life and things like that. And that's something I'd also been wanting to do, but my anxiety. Well, he offered me a spot. He said, hey, we meet Saturdays at this coffee shop, so come over. And we had been talking about our testimonies and found out that, you know, we kind of grew up the same or, or we had a lot in common. And I was like, you know, God just puts people in your life when you least expect it. And, you know, these people came into my life at that time, on that day. And I knew that if I didn't take the opportunities given to me, well, my life wouldn't keep being good like it, is, like it has been over this last year. So I said, sure. So, you know, coming up, um, I'm not going to be able to go this Saturday because my, my, my kids have sports and stuff. But 
I do plan to go the, the Saturday after, and I can't wait. I'm excited. And I start the security position soon. It's, it's wild because, and this is going to sound crazy, but one of the first times I went to that church, one of the first times I stepped back into a church, I was worshiping. We were, we were, music was playing. We were worshiping God. I had my eyes closed. I had my hands out, and I was just, just giving everything to God. And I remember I had a flash like that, a flash in my head of images. One of them was me being baptized, which was something that up to the 41 years of my life at that point, I'd never been baptized because for 20 plus of those, I was an atheist. It was me being baptized and these flashes were like, like that and then they were gone. It's me being baptized. Me standing in the lobby of that same church, handing out a Bible to someone. And I had like graying on, on my hair. I have gray anyway, but it was growed out. It was grown out a little bit. Growed out. I don't know what I'm saying. Grown out a little bit. And I was handing a Bible to someone. And then the third image was someone handing me their newborn baby. And I was just, you know, looking at it. Now, I don't know what those other two images mean, but... I did go and get baptized shortly after, shortly after that, because it was God's way of showing me, this is the road I want you to walk. This is the way you're going. If you stick with me, this is the way you're going. And in those visions, I was happy. I was loving. You know, I was trying to bring other people to the kingdom of heaven. Sometimes it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to suck. You're going to feel like, I can't do it. And you know what? You're right. You can't. I tried to do things for so many years on my own, and I couldn't. Even now on the road that I walk, I can't do it alone. I can only do it with God. I can only do it with Jesus. That's the only way. We got to reach out to him. We got to tell him, hey, look, it's all on you. Uh... I can walk the road, but I'm going to need you to push me a little bit. I'm going to need you to hold my hand. I'm going to need you to lead me to water. Can't lead a horse to water, or you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink, something like that. Anyway, sometimes it's going to be uncomfortable, but you know what? 